Is there a reason that you can't wake up and train from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. before your baby wakes up at seven and before you have to get ready and go to work a couple hours after that? Hey guys, welcome back to Ask Jesse. I am answering questions that came in via Twitter or through the comments on Instagram. Thanks so much for posting your questions, sending me your questions, I love it. Um, there were so many great ones to pick from and these were some of my favorites and some of the most helpful. So next question is from Instagram and it is from Christina Veloci. And her question is, I want to start your Jesse's Girls Muscle Building One program um, that I just purchased. However, I have a 10 month old and I start a new job in two weeks. I have no clue how to fit six days of workouts into my very busy schedule. I work from nine to six every day and my baby is up at seven. Can I combine days to make it work? This is a very valid question. First of all, welcome to Jesse's Girls and congratulations on your baby. <laughs> Both two very awesome things. Um, I wouldn't just combine days randomly, but actually the first couple of things that pop into my head are some things that you mentioned in your question. Your baby wakes up at 7 a.m. and you start a new job, which of course is stressful and new and different, um, but that you work from nine to six. To me, that sounds like a pretty regular schedule. Is there a reason that you can't wake up and train from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. before your baby wakes up at seven and before you have to get ready and go to work a couple hours after that? I really want you to think about that question and really consider it because um, you didn't give me any other information. If you are at home alone with your baby, if you're a single mom, then of course, I don't have that question whatsoever. You gotta do what you gotta do and you can't leave your baby at home, obviously. But if you have help at home and the babe is sleeping until 7 a.m. and you don't go to work till nine. Being perfectly honest with you, I feel like you've got some excuses and I want you to really reflect inward and ask yourself, do you really not have time for these workouts or are your workouts not important enough for you to make time for them? So I need you to stop, take a moment and answer that question and be brutally honest with yourself. So if you don't have help at home and that really isn't as simple as your situation is, then let's keep talking about it. But if you do have the time and you just need to go to bed a little bit early, wake up a little bit earlier, go to the gym at 5.30, maybe you're not a morning person, but you can adjust all of that stuff. If it's really important to you, you will do it. So I want you to answer that first. And if you truly don't have the time, then we can definitely talk about combining days a little bit. I don't know if you need to make it all happen in two workouts a week or four workouts a week. Um, let's say it's four workouts a week instead of six. Another question I have kind of along the same lines is what's so different about these four days than adding two more days to your schedule? So if you can get up at 5.30 four days a week, why can't you just do it six days a week or five days a week? Only you can answer that question. But let's say you can only do it two days a week, then we have some serious combining to do. You probably need to do some full body workouts and kind of rearrange the whole entire training program, no matter if you're doing a Jesse's Girls program or not. If you get a workout program and and it's you know a four or five or six day split and you need to make it one or two, um, it's probably not the workout plan for you. That's just my honest answer. You need to kind of follow a full body training program um, or something along those lines. But if you can make it happen in four, then, then we can, we've got some wiggle room and we can compromise here. Some good suggestions for that would be um, really take a moment to assess your physique and your strengths and figure out what your weak points are and what your strengths are. So let's say you have killer legs, um, but you wanna work on your shoulders and your arms. Muscle Building One has two leg training days and you have killer legs. You don't need a ton of work in that department, but you do wanna work on those upper body muscles. You can remove one of the leg days completely and then boom, you're down to five workout days a week. Or if you really enjoy getting two workouts for your legs a week, you can remove one of them 
and at least hit, make one of your HIIT training workouts in the Jesse's Girls Muscle Building Program um, very leg strength focused, such as pushing a sled up and down a turf. So instead of doing you know, rope slams for your HIIT, you would be doing sled pushes or sled drags or something like that that's really leg focused so that you're at least getting two days of leg training in there. If, uh, if that doesn't work for you, you can certainly just add some leg exercises to some of your upper body days. That would be combining your workouts, but you have to keep in mind with that kind of stuff, over training, um, training too long, rest and recovery. So it's a really delicate process and you have to be very strategic about it. So my best advice for you would just to be one, assess your physique, figure out where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are, and figure out you know what can be cut out for the next 12 weeks of the Justice Girls Muscle Building Program while you really focus on the areas that you want to work on. I wouldn't combine, if you wanna work on your shoulders, I would not sacrifice any of those shoulder workouts. I would definitely um, keep all the shoulder exercises in that you can. Don't do too much combining on those days because if you wanna grow an awesome set of delts, you need to really hit those shoulders hard and make sure the intensity is there during those training sessions. And you don't wanna be screwing around adding leg workouts and leg exercises to your shoulder days. You really wanna go in, hammer your delts, and get the heck out of there. So if it's legs that you don't need help on, that's where you can do some sacrificing. Do not sacrifice on muscle groups or areas that you really, really want to work on. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ask Jesse. Make sure to leave any comments or questions you have below. I will answer and respond to your comments here. And then also please like this video and please subscribe to my channel and share it because I have all sorts of amazing knowledge for you that I love sharing. Thanks for submitting your questions and have an awesome day. Train hard.